there are some fish we see all the time – goldfish, trout, salmon, etc. But some, some are so rare you'll think they're fictional. These are 20 fish that are born only once in a thousand years. Number 20. The Barrel Eye Fish Marine biologists made an unusual sighting in the deep waters of the Pacific Ocean. They caught a fish with a transparent head. It was a barrel eye fish, the only known animal that can literally see through its own forehead. Scientists at the Monterey Aquarium Research Institute spotted the transparent headed fish peering through tube shaped eyes. The barrel eye fish, also called Macropina microstoma in the scientific community, is a rare species of the twilight zone of the ocean. It lives between 600 and 800 meters deep. Barrel eye fish is one of the marine species that has most intrigued marine biologists. And now, it's been discovered that thanks to this transparency, the fish increases its angle of vision and better detects its possible prey, since it has the ability to see through its own skull. In other words, the two eyes of the fish float inside its head, and as scientists have been able to verify, they can literally rotate inside the skull, and since its skin is transparent, the fish can observe what's happening outside. Isn't that amazing and a little creepy? However, despite being the star of the marine biology world, the barrel eye fish has only been seen nine times, which makes it a seriously rare and elusive fish. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. In this video, you'll see someone catch an albino acanthicus hystrix. These things are odd, there's no denying it, and a regular acanthicus hystrix is odd enough. Normally black, these armored catfish have an intense and foreboding look. This unique, one-of-a-kind albino variant must only be born once in a thousand years. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Elephant Fish this funny looking guy is an elephant fish. They also call it ghost shark, whitefish, and plownose chimera. They are cute fish with an almost entirely scaleless, elongated body. Elephant fish have rather large pectoral fins and two dorsal fins as well, which gives them a butterfly like shape, especially when they swim. This species has a single gill which opens immediately in front of the pectoral fin on each side of the fish. The unique and bizarre snout is covered in pores that can sense movement and even the weakest of electrical fields, allowing it to detect prey a lot better than with just eyesight. As you can see, ghost sharks are very silvery with some dark markings. Its eyes are relatively large and set quite high on the head. Its tail fin is divided into two lobes, the top one being larger than the bottom one. They are rather large fish, measuring up to about 1.2 meters and weighing in at 7 kilograms, and females grow bigger than males. They are found in shallow bays and large estuaries, but have sometimes also also been spotted at depths of 200 meters on the continental shelf. This species appears to school by gender, meaning that females and males are separated unless it's mating season. Number 18. European Sea Sturgeon the sturgeon is a primitive, strange-looking fish that is born in freshwater, spends part of its life at sea, and returns to reproduce in the river. Also called Asapenser sturio, it is one of the largest fish in Europe, being able to reach 3.5 meters in length. As they age, they leave the rivers to live in deeper estuaries. In general, and for the 26 species of sturgeon still found in the world, the situation is extremely worrying, even desperate, with these river giants paying a heavy price for the transformation and disappearance of their habitat, pollution, and overfishing for their flesh and their eggs. In some countries, it is a protected species and it benefits from a restoration plan to try and stem its decline in the wild. The adult is 1 to 2 meters long, a maximum of 3.5 meters, and weighs about 300 kilograms, even up to 500 kilograms. It can live more than 80 years with a late sexual maturity, which occurs after 10 years for males and 13 years for females. Sturgeons feed on benthic animals and mainly invertebrates. In freshwater, they feed on worms, insect larvae, and crustaceans. In brackish water, worms and crustaceans. In seawater, mainly worms. They also happen to feed on dead fish at the bottom as well as bait used by carp anglers. 
Number 17. Parrotfish Parrotfish are a family of marine fish included in the order Persiforms. Most are tropical species distributed in coral reefs of the Red Sea, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and Pacific Ocean. Its scientific name, Scaridae, derives from the Greek skyros, which means to jump, due to its ability to jump and strike with its tail. They're called parrotfish because of their particular dentition and body color. Their numerous teeth are grouped in a compact package fused into a structure that resembles the beak of parrots, which they use to gnaw on coral and rocks, thus ripping out the algae on which they feed. Because of this habit, they are often referred to as the gardeners of the coral reef. Without them, it would be a mess of algae everywhere. They are not totally herbivorous, though, as they also gnaw on small mollusk invertebrates that live among the coral. After digesting the pieces of rock and coral that they eat, they defecate a byproduct very similar to sand, being an important source of the sand that accumulates on the beaches of islands and atolls in coral reefs. In other words, if you enjoy chilling on a sandy white tropical beach, you best thank the parrotfish as you're lounging on their poo. Many species have striking colors, which is why they are highly valued in marine aquariums. However, its maintenance is very difficult since it needs to gnaw on living coral. This makes its growth in the aquarium very slow, apart from the fact that it loses part of its strong coloration in captivity. Number 16. Small Tooth Sawfish even though this species has the word small in its name, it is not a small fish by any means. Small-toothed sawfish is a species of sawfish in the family Pristidae. Small-toothed sawfish are found in tropical and subtropical parts of the Atlantic Ocean, including the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Its historical range was the smallest of all the sawfish species. It covered approximately 2.1 million square kilometers, with the United States in the northwest to Uruguay in the southwest and in the east from Senegal to to Angola. Today, this species is in critical condition of extinction and has disappeared from much of its original range. There are some old reports of sightings of small tooth fish in the Mediterranean Sea, but this probably involved wanderers that got lost somehow. These large fish reputedly reach lengths of up to 7.6 meters. However, this is likely an exaggeration, as the largest confirmed specimen measured 5.54 meters. They are quite heavy, too, weighing in at a staggering 350 kilograms. They have the iconic saw-shaped nose that characterizes the species, which gives this fish an unmistakable silhouette. They are brownish-gray in the upper body, sometimes also bluish-gray or even blackish, and their belly area is usually white. Number 15. The Blobfish the blobfish is an extremely rare marine animal that, because it lives in the depths, its appearance changes when it's brought to the surface. Its body is gelatinous and with little density, characteristics that give it a somewhat unpleasant appearance, which is why it has been dubbed the ugliest fish in the world. Poor guy. The blobfish, or dropped fish, is a species of fish in the Cycrolutidae family, and its scientific name is Cycrolutes marcatus. This species is endemic to Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. Its gelatinous texture and soft bones make it a rather bizarre and curious fish. However, this strange appearance is even greater when it's extracted from the water. Therefore, the blobfish has two appearances, the normal one under the water and the gelatinous one on the surface. Due to the low pressure that exists outside, when it's brought to the surface, its texture becomes gelatinous and soft, whereas the extreme pressure of its natural habitat keeps its body in place. The female is believed to be larger than the male. They are light cream to dark dark beige in color, depending on whether they are in the water or on the surface. Their body has a very low density, which helps them to float on the bottom of the ocean. In this way, they can swim without spending a lot of energy and stay alive in the deep sea. Number 14. Sunflower Sea Star the sunflower sea star is the largest of all sea star species and also has the most arms. Its scientific name is Pycnopodia helianthoides, and it's a soft-bodied animal relying on fluid pressure to maintain its body shape, similar to the blobfish. It has 15 to 24 arms, reaching diameters of up to 1 meter, and can weigh up to 13.4 pounds or 5 kilograms. Its coloration varies from orange to pink to yellow, brown, and purple with white spines. 
Plus, the Sunflower Sea Star has more than 15,000 tube feet that allows it to attach to rocks or move along a substrate. They are generally distributed in the eastern Pacific Ocean from Unalaska Island, Alaska to Baja, California, but less frequently south of Monterey Bay. Sunflower Sea Stars are opportunistic hunters of a wide range of marine invertebrates, and in some areas, they are important predators that regulate the natural ecosystems where they live. As a predator of sea urchins, which graze on kelp, the species helps keep kelp forests healthy. Sunflower sea stars use their strong sense of smell and very sensitive light and dark indicators to find their prey and can move at a fast speed of 10 centimeters per second or 18 feet per minute. Number 13. Peacock Mantis Shrimp if I told you to think of the strongest animal in the world, which one comes to mind? I bet it's something like a polar bear or a sperm whale, or maybe an elephant. In any case, most people tend to think of massive animals, but it would seem that this is simply not true. The strongest animal in the world is actually a shrimp. Yeah, a shrimp, but not the kind you eat with mayonnaise. The peacock mantis shrimp is a fascinating animal with a lot of outstanding qualities. They are a crustacean of the Stomatopoda order and measure about 12 centimeters. As you can see, they present very bright and metallic colors. It inhabits Australia's Great Coral Reef and uses the clubs on its limbs to pummel prey faster than a 22 caliber bullet. A hook so powerful that it can easily break aquarium glass when kept in captivity and which makes it the strongest creature relative to its size. The strength and speed of their punch are their means of feeding, as they can open the shells of their prey, such as crabs and clams. To hit this hard without breaking its clubs, the peacock mantis shrimp has a special shock-absorbing core that has a molecular structure unlike any other animal that we know of. This compound is called the booligand structure, which prevents small cracks from becoming a full break. Number 12. Fangtooth Fish this very aptly named fish is a species of abyssal fish of the family Anaplogaster. It's a deep water fish found between 500 and 5,000 meters deep, distributed in tropical and temperate zones. The family contains only two very similar species with no known close relatives, Anaplogaster cornuta found worldwide and Anaplogaster brachycera found in the tropical Pacific and Atlantic. Its head is very large with menacing fangs and large jaws full of mucus with cavities traced by close edges and covered by a thin skin. The eyes are relatively small for its morphology, since as a product of evolution, this species has developed this adaptation in order to confuse its predators. The entire body is very dark brown, almost black, and is highly compressed laterally, progressively thinner towards the tail. The fins are small and simple. The scales are embedded in the skin and take the form of thin plates. The adult is a fearsome predator whose teeth, turned inward, prevent the prey from escaping escaping its powerful and deadly bite. This scary-looking fish usually rises from the deep, dark waters to attack its prey from below, and they usually don't stand a chance against such massive and razor-sharp teeth. Even the babies of this species are like straight out of a horror movie, seeing as the larva of this fish is also covered with spiny outgrowths. Number 11. Hegesapo or Frogfish these fish are some of the favorite animals to find underwater for divers and are not easy to find. It's not that they're rare or even geographically limited, it's simply that these little creatures have so many tricks up their sleeves to camouflage themselves that you could be looking straight at it and not see that it was there. There are 47 and counting species of frogfish. They are very common in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans with rare freshwater species. Both the common and scientific names allude to their physical resemblance to certain amphibians, the toad to be precise. They are small to medium in size with a maximum of about 57 centimeters and are easily recognizable by their characteristic shape. They have a large head and flattened body, often with baleen and other appendages. They are trap hunters, which is why they're so good at camouflaging, and often lie in wait without moving a muscle until a fish comes in a bit too close. And then, bam, the frogfish opens its mouth at an incredible speed. In fact, frogfish can catch its prey in one six thousandth of a second. That is mind-blowingly fast. Number 10. Sea Bunny are you ready to learn about the cutest marine animal you'll ever see? I mean, look at this thing. Don't you want to just 
cuddle it forever? While this cutie's fancy scientific name is Jaruna parva, it's most commonly known as sea bunny for its shape reminiscent of a white, soft, and fluffy bunny rabbit. But can you guess what species this is? It's a slug. Yeah, you heard that right, a slug. I bet you never thought a slug could be this cute. It was discovered in 1938 by the Japanese malacologist Kikotaru Baba in the east of the Japanese archipelago. They measure about two and a half centimeters long. They're usually yellow or white, and they are hermaphrodites. Despite this, if they do form pairs to exchange sperm, they usually live for up to a year. They do not have predators because they contain toxins that come out of their fur, which are small, black, rod-shaped spines, hence the appearance of spots that it has. The protuberances that look like ears are actually sensory antenna that they use to hunt their prey, which are usually small organisms such as crustaceans and sea sponges. They are also characterized by being one of the few species that hunt and eat the Physalia physalis, known as the Portuguese man o' war and one of the most poisonous creatures in the sea, and then use their stingers for self-defense. Number 9. Black Swallower no, this isn't a kitchen joke, nor is it the mention of some fanciful monster. It is a real fish that lives in the depths of the ocean and is capable, oddly enough, of eating prey over twice its length and ten times its own mass. And it does not leave leftovers for later, either. How it manages to do such a thing without its prey first eating it for breakfast or giving it a good swing for its life is still not very clear. Now, of course, the gluttony and digestive capacity of this fish is impressive, considering this fish is 10 centimeters long and it can easily swallow prey that is 20 centimeters. I mean, it sounds fake, but it isn't. This species is scientifically called Chiasmodon niger and lives between 700 and 2,750 meters deep. It engulfs its prey whole by extending its mouth and pushing it into the highly elastic stomach, which can expand depending on the size of the prey. After digestion, the stomach returns to its natural size. This fish is like the boa constrictor of the deep seas. Just take a moment to imagine eating something twice your size. It really puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Number 8. Kissing Loach this adorable little fish is so extremely rare that it only lives in a few Japanese rivers in only one of the country's islands, Honshu. Its scientific name is Parabosha curtis, and it's a species of ray fin fish in the Botiidae family. This fish spawns in the rice field areas in early June, which means that for it to be able to survive, it depends entirely on the flooding of certain areas over terrestrial vegetation. These water-filled areas are the result of water coming down from mountain streams and irrigation ponds. In 2012, a plan to build a city park with a massive sports stadium was announced in the island of Honshu, but the developer soon realized that the planned location would completely destroy a very important spawning ground for juvenile kissing loaches. After much deliberation with environmental and conservational organizations, they decided to move the location to avoid the extinction of this species. Number 7. Giant Sea Bass the giant sea bass, or as it's known in the scientific community, Stereolepis gigas, is a ginormous fish that likes to dwell in the northern Pacific Ocean. This scaled mastodon can grow from a few centimeters to the height of the tallest person who ever walked this earth. This magnificent fish can live almost as much as human beings, but even with such an extended life expectancy, this species is sadly critically endangered, with only about 500 specimens thought to still swim the ocean. Despite their name, these big guys are not technically in the sea bass family, but rather in the wreckfish family. They are massive reef dwellers that, if you ever have the fortune of spotting one, you won't miss or mistake for any other fish in the sea. For starters, you'll be faced with the sheer size of this thing. While the average length of a giant sea bass is just over 7 feet, there have been reported accounts of specimens reaching well over 8 feet and even 9 feet long. Their weight is also in the heavy-duty category. These animals usually weigh in at between 500 and 600 pounds. Number 6. Tequila Split Fin 
After going extinct in the wild, the tequila fish swims again through the waters of the Teochitlan River in Jalisco thanks to a process of rescue and reintroduction of the species. It barely measures 8 centimeters, or 3 inches, and weighs 15 grams. But the tequila split fin, as well as others in the Goodyeti family, are valuable for behavioral and evolutionary biologists due to their viviparous condition. That is, the females are fertilized and go through a pregnancy of 45 days. But first, they have to choose a partner, which forces the males to put up a proper dance and show their beautiful and colorful tail. An intense orange tone will tell the female that this specimen has survived, despite its ostentation appearance, the predation of other aquatic creatures. In other words, if the male survived even having the worst odds against him, that's a genetic pool the ladies want to pass on to their offspring, which in a way makes total sense. Sadly, industrial and agricultural progress has been depositing pollutants in Mexican rivers and seriously affecting the reproduction of Goodyeti. They no longer wear such beautiful colors and are born with neurological disorders that make it difficult to perform the dances that used to attract the females. In short, they don't make males like they used to, and the ladies aren't super happy about it. Number 5. Adriatic Sturgeon Asapenser nakeri, commonly known as the Adriatic sturgeon, is a species of fish in the family Asapenseridae endemic to the Adriatic Sea and particularly to the fresh waters of northern Italy and along the Adriatic coasts of Italy, Albania, Croatia, Greece, Montenegro, and Slovenia. It is an elongated fish that can reach a maximum length of about 2 meters and a maximum mass of 25 kilograms, with an olive-brown back, paler sides, and a whitish belly. The Adriatic sturgeon is threatened by habitat loss and and overfishing. particularly the capture of immature fish that have not yet reproduced. Fish populations have declined sharply by more than 80% over the past 60 years. In 2010, the International Union for Conservation of Nature changed its conservation status from vulnerable to critically endangered, and it's likely to be functionally extinct in the wild already, as no breeding has been confirmed since the 1980s. Like all other sturgeons, the Adriatic sturgeon has a cartilaginous skeleton. It also has no scales. Instead, its body is partially covered with bony plates called the scutes and four tactile barbels which precede their toothless mouth. They are primitive looking creatures that are quite long lived, approximately 20 years, and they are crucially important to the well being of their natural habitat. Number 4 Devil's Hole Pupfish the Devil's Hole Pup, scientific name Suprina Don Diabolis, may currently be the most isolated and lonely animal on planet Earth, although it's difficult to know for sure. They haven't compared it to me yet. It's even difficult to know how long ago this little fish appeared as a different species of the Cyprina Dontidae family, slightly similar to carp. Adult specimens measure a mere two and a half centimeters. Even more difficult is to determine why this fish lives exclusively in a small cave with water with a small opening to the outside in a desert area of Nevada, managed by the Death Valley National Park and isolated from any other mass of water. A census that took place in 2013 only detected 35 specimens. The only thing that is certain is that the Devil's Hole pupfish is in serious danger of extinction. A team of scientists published an article stating that from their genetic studies, it's likely that the first pups arrived at the Devil's Hole between 105 and 830 years ago, possibly transported to these waters by human inhabitants of the area. According to these experts, the original specimens evolved from other local species as they became isolated in a very small population. The data from this study rendered unfounded earlier hypotheses that the species Suprina Don Diabolis arose in this Nevada cave about 13,000 years ago. Number 3 Red Hand Fish Have you ever heard of a fish that, instead of swimming, walks? Well, meet the red hand fish, the fabulous fish that breaks all the rules. The Thymethus politus is not an abyssal fish, but it is an extremely interesting genus of fish belonging to the family Brachionic Thinidae of the order Lophiaforms. It is one of the rarest species in the world and was already believed to be extinct, but it would seem we were wrong. They've been seen, granted in very small numbers, in the coastal areas of eastern Tasmania, Australia. Its preferred habitat is at the junction between 
reefs and sand and in sandy areas around rocks. In observations made by scholars, it's been determined that the thymethus, or red-handed fish, feed on small crustaceans and worms. And do you see their fancy red jazz hands? Yeah, well, they use them to literally walk on the bottom of the sea. Instead of swimming around, that is their preferred method of transportation. They can vary quite a bit in color, from bright red to light pink and even brown, and are typically less than 10 centimeters long. The fact that a small group of them has been spotted in the wild is incredibly good news that has marine biologists and conservationists jumping of happiness all over the world. Number 2. Sakhalin Sturgeon this sturgeon species is a rare anadromous fish found only in the Tumnin River located in Russia and in the Sea of Japan. Sadly, the Sakhalin sturgeon is listed as critically endangered throughout its natural habitat under the ESA. Their numbers in the wild are extremely low, with an estimated 10 to 30 specimens entering the Tumnin River each year to spawn. The only way, as of now, to make sure this magnificent species doesn't disappear is through artificial reproduction and release of juveniles into the Tumnin River and Lake to NYCHA. Their main threats are pollution, illegal as well as incidental catch, and inadequate regulatory systems and mechanisms. Like most sturgeons, these fish are quite big. They can grow up to 8 feet in length and weigh approximately 330 pounds. Their skin is olive to dark green on their back with a yellowish green white belly and a very characteristic olive green stripe on their side. Also like all other sturgeons, this species has a cartilaginous skeleton, an upper lobe larger than the bottom one, and a bottom-oriented mouth with four sensory whiskers. Number 1. Ornate Sleeper Ray this magnificent ray is the only species of the genus Electrolux and was only formally described quite recently in 2007. You may have heard its scientific name before, and that's because it was given the name of a well-known brand of vacuum cleaners due to its impressive electrogenic properties and amazing forceful sucking when it feeds. On top of all that, the ornate sleeper ray is the largest known member of the sleeper ray family. They look quite conspicuous with their bold cream and brown markings, especially when they camouflage with their sandy natural habitat. Just like cats do, this ray has been known for performing threat displays, such as the arching of its back and raising of its tail when approached by a scuba diver. You could just call them the kitties of the ocean. However, whereas your kitty can only scratch you, the ornate sleeper ray can literally electrocute you thanks to their powerful electric organ. As you can see, fish come in as many sizes, colors, and shapes as you can imagine. Out of all the fish mentioned in this video, which one would you like to see in its natural habitat the most? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.